Next week, will Luna make a stunning triple betrayal on Bold and the Beautiful? Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Beautiful and bold, has Luna Nozawa believed that her chats with RJ Forrester were private. But it appears that the young intern lost faith in her boyfriend after her mother was taken to the hospital on this CBS. When B and B to boots next week, though, he won't be the only betrayal Luna encounters. What is the matter with RJ Forrester in Bold and the Beautiful? Putting her trust in RJ Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, shared what she had discovered in her former flat. She was worried that her mother had slyly concealed Tom Starr's, Clint Howard, backpack beneath the couch. Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, denied knowing anything about the tattered bag containing Tom's worldly possessions. This includes letters he sent to Poppy that ended up back at the sender's address. It soon becomes clear that Luna Nozawa aired greatly last week on Bold and the Beautiful when she gave her partner this information. Luna told RG that Tom Starr was pursuing her mother because Tom thought he was Luna's father. So she told RJ about how her mother had been betraying her for all these years by not telling her this. However, her lover didn't wait to tell his aunt, Katie Logan, Heather Tom, about this information. And with that, the ball begins to roll, albeit perhaps in the wrong direction. B and B spoilers. Confusing Luda Nozawa. Did she or didn't she? When Dan Martin's character, Detective Baker, shows up the following week with proof, Luna is crushed. He shows Poppy the tiny tin that she keeps her stockpile of unique mints in. Fans of Bold and the Beautiful will discover where he found it next week. However, the isn't making it simple to determine whether Poppy killed these two guys. Luna is incessantly inquiring if her mother killed these individuals. Fans of B and B find this strange because most girls who have such a strong bond with their mother wouldn't require confirmation that she isn't a murderer. Most likely, they wouldn't even consider it. However, Luna gave the impression that she thought her mother was capable of killing someone. Thus, there are probably a few skeletons in the Nozawa closet that are kept secret from bold and beautiful devotees. Furthermore, the Nozawa power they mention seems to have survived some difficult times in the past. Is Luna's mom using all of her cards? Is Poppy really that stupid to have left the backpack in her apartment? Some B and B fans wonder. When she learned what it was on bold and the beautiful last week, she did appear astonished. There were a million things she could have done with that proof, like burn it, bury it, or throw it in the trash, if she had wanted it destroyed forever. Fans of Bold and the Beautiful are also perplexed by what will happen to their apartment. They keep assuring that it will be taken down soon. However, they provide the impression that everything will remain as it is, with the wrecking ball just around the corner. Thus far, it appears that the demolition will involve getting rid of furniture, household goods, and for the purpose of one theory, the backpack. Nobody talks about a moving truck arriving. RG is pushed to the edge by Luna in Bold and the Beautiful. Although Luna is utterly enamored with RJ, there are whispers that this betrayal might end things. Fans of Bold and the Beautiful were furious with RG for shrieking about Poppy Nozawa after Luna confided in him. He didn't keep the promise his aunt Katie gave him. After gathering all the information she believed to be true, she fled to the police and then warned Bill Spencer, Don Diamond. Bill appeared to be amused by Katie's allegations regarding his girlfriend from last week's episode of Bold and the Beautiful. With the backpack found in her apartment, it appears that Poppy is the murderer. However, Evidence that it wasn't her is probably going to surface the following week, and this is probably Bill's wizardry at work. B and B spoilers. Feeling alone and betrayed? For Luda Nozawa, all of this may be a game changer. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful suggest that once R.G. Forrester abuses her confidence, their relationship will suffer. 
In addition, her mother betrayed her by not telling Ludinozawa about Tom for all of these years. Perhaps the most shocking betrayal, though, may come from her father-in-law. Fans are also left wondering if Bill Spencer had any involvement in these deaths in light of hints. Luda Nozawa might therefore feel alone the following week, as hints on the CBS suggest that the three people she loves the most had betrayed her it was a in one way morning or in Los Angeles, and the Forrester Creations office buzzed with energy as the team prepared for an important fashion show. The air was thick with anticipation, but for Luna Spencer, the day would soon take a sharp and devastating turn. Luna, a rising star in the fashion world, had always been a bright presence at Forrester Creations. With her innovative designs and keen eye for trends, she had earned the respect and admiration of her colleagues. But Luna's personal life had been far more complicated than the polished exterior she presented at work. Despite her talent and drive, she had long felt like an outsider in the glamorous world of Forrester Creations. As she walked into the office, she noticed a strange tension in the air. Conversations halted when she passed by, and she could feel eyes lingering on her longer than usual. Uneasy but determined to stay focused, Luna headed to her office. She was deep into her work when her phone buzzed with a message from her best friend, Zoe. Zoe, Luna, you need to come to the lounge ASAP. Something big is happening. Luna's heart skipped a beat. Zoe wasn't one to exaggerate, and if she was calling her out of a meeting, it had to be serious. She quickly gathered her things and made her way to the employee lounge. As she approached, she heard the low murmur of voices, hushed but intense. When Luna stepped into the lounge, all eyes turned to her. In the center of the room stood Zoe, her expression a mix of concern and anger. Next to her was Carter Walton. Forrester's trusted legal counsel, looking uncharacteristically anxious. The room was thick with an atmosphere of impending doom. Luna, you better sit down for this, Zoe said, her voice trembling slightly. What's going on? Luna asked, her voice more confident than she felt. Carter stepped forward, holding a folder in his hand. Luna, there's something you need to know. We've uncovered some information that affects you directly. Luna's stomach tightened. She nodded, signaling for him to continue. Carter opened the folder and handed her a few documents. It's about your family, he began. There's no easy way to say this, but it seems that your parents weren't entirely truthful with you about your past. Luna's hands shook as she scanned the papers. They revealed a devastating truth. She was not the biological daughter of the Spencers. Instead, she had been adopted as a baby from a powerful family in Italy. The revelation hit her like a freight train. Her entire life had been built on a lie. How could they keep this from me? Luna whispered, her voice barely audible. She looked up at Carter, her eyes filled with pain. Why now? Why am I finding out about this now? Carter sighed, looking pained. Luna, I wish I had the answers, but there's more. It turns out that your biological family is deeply entwined with the Forrester business. They're not just any family, they're the Marconi family, known for their influence in the European fashion industry. Luna felt like the ground was crumbling beneath her. The Marconi family was one of the most powerful and ruthless in the fashion world, known for their cutthroat business tactics and vast empire. Luna's entire life, her identity, was suddenly thrown into question. She had always known the fashion world was full of secrets and betrayals, but she never imagined she would be at the center of such a scandal. As the reality of her situation sank in, Luna felt a cold dread settle in her chest. The truth had come out, but what did it mean for her future at Forrester Creations? And more importantly, how would she confront the family that had lied to her all these years? The revelation about her true parentage left Luna reeling. She couldn't believe that her entire life had been a fabrication, carefully crafted by the people she had trusted the most. But as she struggled to come to terms with the shocking truth, Luna soon realized that the betrayal ran even deeper. Later that day, Luna decided to confront her parents, Bill and Katie Spencer. 
She needed answers, and she wasn't going to rest until she got them. With a heavy heart, she made her way to the Spencer estate. When she arrived, she found her parents in the living room, deep in conversation. The moment they saw her, their expressions shifted from casual to concerned. They knew why she was there. Luna, sweetheart, what's wrong? Katie asked, her voice laced with worry. Luna held up the documents she had received from Carter. Is it true? She demanded. Am I not your biological daughter? Bill and Katie exchanged a look of guilt in sorrow. It was clear they had been dreading this moment. Yes, it's true, Bill admitted, his voice low and heavy. We adopted you when you were just a baby. We wanted to protect you from your biological family, the Marcomis. They're dangerous people, Luna. We didn't want you to grow up in that kind of environment.